What's up, guys? Of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi Fi battle with George Rule, of course, the Scarander. Now, today we got ourselves a match against this Star Dasher. If you guys don't know who he is, how could you? Of course, you know who he is. I battle this guy so often, and for very good reasons. He's a very, very good competitive uh, battler in NU, and he's been a long time follower, really. So, it's all a pleasure going up against him because I know that I get an honest challenge when I'm going up against him, and yeah. Uh, Usually, I do play around with a joke team. I had a very, very serious team because of a, a Star Dasher, and I really, really wanted to win this one. And looking to my opponent's team here, we got Shiftry, Golurk, Vivlion, Capitops, Magmortar, and Kecleon. So, a lot of threats here, and um, we had to do a rebattle of this battle actually. So, um, he started with Golurk previously, so I knew he was not going to do that again. Uh, I myself using Hitmonchan, Mesprit, Quagsire, Fracture. Durio and Mesprit. And the Mesprit is actually a spec set instead of a scarf set because Mesprit has a nice speed on its own and I shouldn't really, really waste a special attack on something else. Durio, on the other hand, is scarfed. It is supposed to outspeed uh, Tauros, actually. And yeah, I got great use out of this, this battle, but uh, as you guys can see, he has a lot of threats and Shiftry is being the biggest one of them. And Vivlion, if I can't break the Sash, then it's gonna be trouble late game. Because I don't have any Stealth Rocker. So anyway, I'm gonna start with Hitmonchan, hoping to hurt something. And yeah, that big lit. With all these my guys, let's do it! So like I said, previously he did start with Golurk, so I know he was not gonna do that this time. So I'm gonna start with Hitmonchan, basically feeling, you know, I can do this. He's gonna start with Leon, which is the Kek Leon. And I was being a bit predictable here. I was debating if I should go for an Ice Punch. But it ended up going for a Drain Punch, I believe. Um, and um, obviously that was a great switch in. I will follow that up with an Ice Punch. And he will follow that up with a Shadow Punch. But it's not going to do a whole lot. And I decided here that he probably going to switch out. So I went for an EQ. That was a bad choice. That was a bad choice. Because he gets his, of course, very, very, very nasty Stealth Rocks up. So I decided to finish him off, should definitely get, or just gone for the Ice Punch. So that play was very very crucial because he gets the rocks up and I can't get rid of him. Even though I have the Hitmonchan, it's kinda whittled down. And I tried here to actually go for Rapid Spin, hopefully that he missed the Hurricane. And it's not gonna work, even if I'm Assault Vest, it's not gonna do it. And that sucked so hard. So anyway, I'm gonna go to Mesprit. And I was playing really safe here. I knew that it was very likely it would switch out, but it did stay in while I go for U-turn. Luckily, I do break his sash though, but I would have been much better off going for an ice beam. But that's where it is. And I'm gonna go to my Dudru, basically hoping for him to um, go for sleep powder because I'm a, I am an early bird actually. Uh, luckily, he does go for sleep powder and does land it sadly. And at least I'm now in a position where I can stay in. Because I have the early bird, it's very likely I wake up first third. And if I do, then I will outspeed the Vivlion and it should not be an issue whatsoever. Sally just switched out to through cabbage tops and I go for double edge, which is gonna do you know a respectable amount of damage. Had I been banded, that would actually be closer to a two hit KO. But I couldn't risk a potential awkward yet, so decided to switch out to my Mesprit. And um, he actually went for the Stone Edge. And that scared me so much that it did that because that is no way I'm taking that really well, so I decided to switch out and hope for him. Or he obviously missed that, which was super important. But uh, I switched to Quark Sawyer or Cure to take an incoming Stone Edge. Now he goes for the Awkward Jet, and I take that really, really, really well. And um, of course, the Rocky Helmet is wheeling him down. And I was deciding here that you know what, I should just go for Recover and uh, try to get some momentum back, really, while he goes for Waterfall, which obviously does. A respectful amount of damage. Sadly, he scores the flinch on me, and that sucks. It really does, because that means he can finish off the Quagsire, and um, I take him down with the Rocky Helmet. But that's a price he wanted to pay, and I get that, because Quagsire is such an annoying Pokemon to deal with. So that was a good trade-off for my opponent's part, because now I have no real defensive wall left, and he saw it as an entry for Kecleon. Now, luckily for me, I go for the Striker. And I knew that it was very likely that uh, he had a Sucker Punch knockoff combination. 
but I should be able to do some nasty damage on it no matter what, because uh, Kekleon is actually more of a, ooh, what do you say, it's more of a special defensive wall than it is physical, so I knew that going in, so I really just wanted to hurt as much as I could. And now it will follow that up with a Sucker Punch, and I saw it one coming, went for Dragon Dance, hoping I could troll him a bit, and what I mean by that is, you know, um, to actually showing him that I could go for another Dragon Dance. Now he doesn't buy into that, he's just gonna keep going for Sucker Punches, and he does take out my Fracture, which was... You know what? I, I can't be mad about it, it's actually it's the right play to make, and um, it sucks, but at the same time, um, my opponent is good enough to not fall for such easy tactics. Now, I do a bad play here, because I go for Crunch, and I f totally forgot that, of course, his uh, Dark type is, not, is gonna be not super effective, and he will fall out with the Brain Punch, which, of course, means that he's getting some nasty, nasty HP back. And um, I was forced to go for a poison jab this time around. He goes to follow that up with a sucker punch, and it's not going to be close to killing me. But with the life orb, I'm pretty much dead. So I'm taking down the, him with a poison jab, and this Kekla took out two of the massive threats for my team that was potential sweepers. And I can't really be too mad about it because I played right into his hand. I did a bad play with the crunch, and uh, I paid a high price for that. So anyway, I'm going to go to Mesprit, and. Uh, he will actually himself go for the shift tree. Now, I was very, very lucky here that he didn't outspeed me. He didn't go for a sucker punch either. I went straight on for an ice beam, and that's the one in KO because I'm specs. And that, of course, is extremely important because he only has the Magmortar left and I believe the Vivlion. But as of right now, I can't probably take out um, the Magmortar, but I need some residual damage to not fall for double edge. Luckily for me, he misses. He misses the first fire blast. And you know, Magmortar has always been such a champ against me. Always missing and you know, not really feeling that good inaccuracy. I mean, we start off with Shady Penguin, he start, keeps going with Star Dasher. And luckily for me here, like I said, I am Scarfed. And uh, Dudrio is just gonna do what it do, does best. And that is gonna be a brave battle. And because of the previous damage to Magmortar, I will not fall for the recoil damage. Which also means, and I can't believe it, that we are going to be able to outspeed the Vivillion, who lost its Sash, and um, we're gonna kill it, and we're gonna kill it dead. Dead, I tell you guys. And that is GG. Um, my Duru will actually fall to this, but due to him falling after Vivillion, I will win the battle. But you guys already know, it's a OO, -oh, it's really a tie, and it was a very, very nice game, really. So, yeah, I mean, with all that said, um, Stardash, like I said, that was a, a fantastic game, really. It was really interesting to um, to use a very, very competitive team and try to uh, really find a footing through that, and uh, it worked in my favor this time somewhat, because my opponent missed two important plays. Had he not missed the Fire Blast, which definitely was the biggest play, it would have been very likely that I would fall to the, uh, the Brave Bird afterward. And while I would have taken out the uh, Magmortar, that was a definitely or um, a guaranteed KO. Um, it still would have been a position where I really, really think that I would fall through residual damage because of the momentum I was in, and that would have been that he would have had a 1-0 victory, which have, would have been completely fine, really, because it is always close match against the Star Dasher, and it's so few things that decide it between us. When I'm play serious, I have a lot of matches where I'm playing with a joke team, and I fall fast. He has easily, if I don't, if I am not competitive, he will very, very easily 5-6-0 me. It's, it's actually no joke, it's very likely to happen. Uh, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this game, and uh, I really like to stream these lower tier battles. I'm, I'm sorry I don't upload it as often, I really, really enjoy it, so I'll, you know, I'll get my shit together really and make sure I upload more of this, because this is the things you did sign up for after all on my channel. And I won't disappoint you guys, never. Uh, but anyway guys, I want to thank you for watching as always. Of course, make sure to leave a like if you just like this video. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the sky is the limit. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.